Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. Christos Anesti. Good morning. And hello to you too. On this morning, the second Sunday from Pascha, so I should say the third Sunday from Pascha, the second Sunday after Pascha, we commemorate the myrrh-bearers, those who came and prepared the body of the Lord and had come again to complete the preparation and the anointing of his body in his burial. And normally we think of these women as, well, women only. But in the Orthros, I myself was struck to hear what I had not noticed before, that the myrrh-bearers commemorated by name specifically are the men. Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea, those who had prepared the Lord. Of course, the others are commemorated today, all of them who had gathered around the Lord in his time of need, where others fled. And in simplicity, we are intended to take two things from this. The first is a striking reality, a reminder that although Pascha is past, we still celebrate the feast. Indeed, we are returned in the themes of today to the period immediately before the Lord's resurrection. We live this over and over again in the course of this blessed period of Pascha, and we live it over and over again indeed in the entire course of the year, every Sunday, hearing again these selections of the Lord's rising from the dead, of his communion with his disciples and followers and beloved ones. And we are called then to make this second Sunday an example for the others, that Sunday, the day of the Lord, be set aside as a day of rejoicing, as a day of ministry, as a day of communion and love, in imitation of the Lord and of these who followed him. The second point is, of course, connected to it, that those who are honored above all in the church are those who ministered to Christ, those who care for him in the course of his ministry on this earth and who still care for him in caring for the church, which is his body. I don't speak of the clergy, but I speak of those who have the love, who have the heart of concern and care for everyone in the church. Those who pray, those who minister, those who clean, those usually women, as the myrrh-bearers were mostly women, who are always present in the church. We honor them today along with all of the myrrh-bearers mentioned in Scripture, and we undertake to imitate them, men and women both, as there is the prayer in the conclusion of the service before the icon, the opis anvonon, the between the, the behind the anvon prayer. It says, O oh Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. I'm mixing up my prayers. Signomi. But it speaks of those who love the beauty of the Lord's house, who give themselves to maintaining it. And we may speak today, as we honor the myrrh bearers, of those who have adorned our temple with the stained glass, with the chandeliers, with the pews, with the icons, with the iconostasis, with the cross and its wreath, with the candlesticks, with the candles, those who gave them, those who maintained them, those who have given themselves to the care of the church. But we must not forget, too, those who give themselves to the community, the parish council, which serves selflessly without reward, the philoptochos, 
which still s serves still more selflessly and still more without reward. And least of all, and therefore most of all, as is the principle always in the Christian church, those who simply come and sit and love the word of the Lord, the hymns of the Lord, who come from the beginning of the services to the end, or who come in love at whatever time they are able. In short, today is a day on which all of us are honored. For those of us who have come to the church today, honor the Lord, love Him, serve His people and His community. And let us then take not just an example from the apostles, from the myrrh bearers who are mentioned and commemorated today, but from ourselves, from one another, as we stand here or sit here in piety, in worship, in joy, in communion, and in love. Let us notice what it is that we have. Let us rejoice in what we possess as a family, as the people and the body of Christ. And let us resolve, not just today, but every week, every day, and every year, to give ourselves more perfectly to the service of Jesus Christ our God, and to the love of one another, and to the sustenance and beauty and care of this holy house. But above all, not just the house, but those who fill it. So, may the intercessions of Joseph and Nicodemus, of the several Marys of Joanna and Salome and all the myrrh-bearers sustain us and support us as we walk in love and in service to one another and to Jesus Christ, our God. Amen.